Hello, hello, YouTube. I haven't done these kind of videos in a while. Why? Obviously, with the market crash. Uh, a lot of people have been offering lots of money for my uh, my stuff, but I keep saying no because I do not want to sell at a loss. Whoever sells lower than what they bought is a moron. That's number one. Number two, the main reason why I haven't been buying is a good example of these two. Right here in Canada, after closing market, it's roughly $25 an ounce on the market. $38, $36. The exact same price before the crash when it was at $28 on the market. Uh, I ended up buying him because they, these were the last two. Uh, he announced the person, it's a local coin shop, he had tubes of these. But by the time I got there, these are the only ones left. Uh, the other coin shop near me is, he doesn't have these, but he's, he's is doing the same thing. He's selling his coins, his one ounces, pre-crash prices, 38, 40, sometimes $45 for one ounce. So uh, yeah, a big debt to you guys. Uh, the place where I bought this, I'm never gonna go back. Even though uh, he's a very, very friendly guy, I'm not paying this. I'm very disappointed, but I wanted these coins. So I'll show them off the bat. Yes, I took them off the capsules. We had the kangaroo, ah, oh, the kangaroo. <laughs> the Australian kookaburra. 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 Okay. I spent the whole afternoon in traffic and fixing my car YouTube, so my mouth is a bit dry. So it's a one ounce, sadly, 999s silver 2015 my hands are clean but i love the finish look at that beautiful shine absolutely gorgeous youtube so of course even though i know the guy and he recently bought a sigma machine but that does not prevent me from testing it so troy ounces it comes up to one troy ounce point zero zero five, which is good. Always want more. Now it's on the edge. Not to panic, because I had it on four nines funds. Oops, a bit too far. So here, three three nines, and just a bit off to the left, to the right. Hmm. I've never seen that. Oh, because of the hot, because of the relief. Yeah, the coin does have a lot of detail, so as long as it's in the bracket, I'm okay. I don't know if you can tell on camera. This is a proof coin. So yeah, trying to find an edge. Trying to find a spot where I can correctly do that. And the other one is also a British coin. Victory through harmony. Well, I saw this a while ago. I'm sad that I couldn't get the tube, but some people can't there. This too is, is a nice coin. It's a, not as shiny as the other one, but it is proof. This one's been handled a bit more than the other one. So it's one ounce, three nine silver, 2021. And it says 13, St. Helena, Queen Elizabeth II. Got a nice shine to it. I love the front. So this was $36. Eleven dollars over spot. This one too, one out one troy ounce point zero zero five. And this one too has a lot of detail, so let's try and find a spot dead center. That's what we want. There we go. Now 
I'm not saying for people not to buy, but in my area, there's only a few people that actually follow the market price. Whereas even some on Kijiji raised the prices. Some are asking for $50 an ounce for a silver uh, coin. Whoever's buying that, I congratulate the guy who has the balls to sell it at that price. As for me, I have one guy who keeps insisting on buying mine, but at the market price, which I don't want to do. So I finally have one from Australia and one from England. Anything regarding the Queen is gone, sold out, no chance. Bye bye. Okay, six minutes for two coins. Thank you, YouTube.